Greetings everyone and welcome back once again to Hand of Fate, where in the last two episodes we have failed to complete the Hermit. Now, whereas normally I would take a, a little break, for example with the Hierophant, I failed and then failed again, took a bit of a break. I feel that I'm so close to the Hermit that I want to give it one more try. But if we should fail again, don't worry, we'll be jumping onto one of the other missions just to get a, a bit of a change of scenery really more than anything. So jumping into the Hermit once again. Uh, again, I think we will actually check out our cards. We will go once more with the soldier. If for no other reason, then it gives us a bit of a better pendulum and also the just the, the amusing commentary regarding her being our companion for this one. Uh, encounters though. Let's have a look. Is there anything we want to change? Man of the World seems like a pretty solid one. Uh, Goblin Raider? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. The Lost Boy, perhaps. Tarts, Pies, and Exotic Lies. Quite nice. These, quite a lot of things gives a bit of a, a bit of a help here. Fallen Treasure. Not bad at all. Dark Alleyways. Oh, we can also gain equipment there. We can gain equipment here. Wetlands Ambush. I'm actually going to take out Wetlands Ambush. I'm probably stirring in the mire as well. Let's have a look at a couple of other things that are available to us. Uh, we could go with the Burrow Burrow, uh, exploring the wells, the Toshes. Uh, let's grab the Toshes. That looks like a bit of an interesting one. Uh, additionally, we probably should try and grab one of the cards with a token. Uh, let's see. How about... No, let's not go with the, the cards that don't have um, options for us that are Pendulum. Bridge Skirmish, perhaps? Maybe. The Duel... Combat efficiency. I wonder about that one. Sword and Doodats? No, I don't think so. What I would really like is something where I can definitely get some equipment. All right, let's let's have a look back at the the other cards that we have. Trading house. Hmm. Gain food. Trade food. Yeah, okay, we'll take the trading house with us. I think that'll be a, a decent one. It's also got a a token that I wouldn't mind trying to get hold of. Alright, so Armor of Gluttony, Cardinal Blade, don't particularly care for you, not much at all. Uh, the Humble Hammer perhaps, uh, we could go with hmm, any number of items here actually. The Cry of Victory, uh, do we have any new types of gear back here perhaps? No we do not. Well then, I'm going to say... Hmm, sun healing, no. We'll grab you. And these folly really don't care for that one too much. Let's drop that one down. Sacrificial blades, they can come along. Uh, they're a holy weapon, actually. Does hmm, I'm not entirely certain of that one. Empire's Burden seems like a pretty solid one. Forest Guardian's Ring, that can be removed. We haven't got the... Uh, Forest with us for this one. So we can take Rethgar's Quake, perhaps. The Cry of Victory. Blinding Brew. A Valiant Aegis. That one might not be a, a bad choice, honestly. Uh, sure, we'll grab the, the Valiant Aegis. There we go. And another weapon, I think. I guess the Cardinal Braid wouldn't be a terrible one. The issue with this one is it requires so much fang to use. You know what, we'll bring the exquisite blade simply so that if we pick it up we can go ahead and... Uh, well actually, that being said, we can have one platinum card, so sure, we'll bring along Breath of Zaya. Yeah, that seems a reasonable one. We'll get rid of the sacrificial blades in exchange for the ex exquisite blade because it will generate a lot of coin for us. And finally, under supplies, we've got a battered helm, some food, and a soldier's sword. Reasonable group of things. I feel maybe want to drop something here. Uh, no, I think we're we're fairly good with the cards as is. And let's begin. I'm gonna take a swig of my tea, Darjeeling, for those who are uh, curious.
Okay then, dealer. Let's see what we can do. Here things turn. You find the Empire an opponent rather than an ally. Here you will learn the beginnings of truth. Very well. While exploring the wildlands, you arrive quite suddenly at the fringes of a curiously enchanted winter forest. Where you stand, it is warm summer afternoon, yet only ten steps away, the cedars are grey with frost and the ground is blackened in thick snow. Blanketed, sorry. Horrendous. You turn in surprise to face Estrella, but it is not she who spoke. An Empire general in an impressively plumed helm approaches you. A sizable company of Empire soldiers are arrayed behind him. Horrendous, isn't it? This smear of obstinate mage filth staining the land. With a start, the general recognizes your companion, Captain Fior. What business do you have here with this mercenary? Estrella keeps her reticent demeanor. Unofficial business, General Willem. He bows in concession. Regardless, I'd advise that this frozen waste is far too dangerous for your unofficial business. The ground changes underfoot and the blizzards tear your skin to shreds. Uh, we don't need to ask either uh, about the Hermit or about General Willem. I think we're going to jump into the forest. The General gestures and his troops split into small parties and head into the we uh, wasteland. He turns to you and bows deeply before following the last party in. Never fear, citizen. This mage will meet the blade of the Empire's justice. You notice Estrella relax her hand from her pistol. I do not take such powerful magic lightly. Usually. She gestures to the Winter Forest. However, I believe this hermit deserves a fair warning and a fair fight. Marvellous. I believe so too. Let us move forward. Add straight into a blizzard. Well drag. With a little warning, a snowstorm sweeps in from the north. The snow whips against you like shards of glass and obscures your vision. You struggle to find cover. Okay, the Empire is back four days. Good. And we, what are we going to be? Oh dear. I would say one or four. Oh, it was three. Very well. Took five uh, pain there. Okay. Taking goblin retainer. orders from a goblin. You're lucky I came along, given you're the type to do whatever anyone asks of you. <laughs> Fair enough. The tower is in chaos. Alarm bells have the garrison soldiers in panic. As you watch a goblin with a hefty sack leaps from a window, dangling from a makeshift rope. He bounces painfully off the wall as he lowers himself to the ground. The castle doors fly open. Guards assemble, armed and angered. The goblin blows his horn, discharging little more than a feeble hiss. I need a moment to recharge this. Help me and I'll split my takings. Before you can reply, he throws you an item from his sack. Here's your retainer, he says. And gold. Not bad. The guards are short. Arrest them! They're with the goblin! <laughs> We're no such thing. Heavy weapons are recommended against the Empire. You can change equipment in the inventory screen. Uh, let me just make sure I've got my soldier sword. Good, good, good. Let us begin, then. Now, let's hope that the cold in my fingers isn't going to slow me down too much. It is bitterly cold this morning. Ice everywhere. Uh, no snow, though. It hasn't rained, so no possibility for snow. But the water that was already on the floor, very wet. Uh, sorry, very uh, icy. Very wet, yes. Water is generally wet. It's bad if it isn't. Sign of magics. Uh, okay, let's uh, take you down as well. There we are. Let's try for a stab. Thank you. Thank you very much for the uh, protection. Oh. No. Actually, you could probably take him out, but I kind of feel like just smacking him down, honestly. And stab. He got hit once. Uh, or was it twice? Either way, not not super happy, because that isn't a difficult fight. Only four of them to deal with. Here in the shouts of additional guards, the goblin summons a portal and drags you in. The three of you fall through a seemingly endless tunnel of swirling stars. Okay. Here we see yet another wheel, Indeed. each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. Come on, equipment. Yes! Or just success, either way. After Excellent. what seems a lifetime... A decision. Oh. Thank you very much. After what seems a lifetime, the portal releases you in a forest. You find Estrella passed out behind a shrub. You help her up and continue on your way. Your majestic disappearing act has become the talk of the now. Oh, right, okay, so I needed the gold. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I just succeeded. I didn't actually get anything out of it. Every city has places that the civilized would be better to avoid. 
of Just course. Just while I'm not civilized. That's also where you'll find the most interesting people. Indeed. While roaming the dark alleyways of the capital, you see a suspicious group traveling in your direction. The Six of Light. Easy fun. They are dragging a locked chest behind them. Its contents are known. In another direction, you spy an item glinting in the moon. However, you notice a number of shadowy forms lurking in the nearby alley. We're going to go towards the suspiciously unguarded equipment. The Lord's diadem is too valuable for me to risk not get trying. You approach the item, but soon run into trouble. You've been ambushed. It's fine. I'm well equipped. Okay, I don't have super fast weapons, so we're uh, going to need to be a little bit spry here, but we want that diadem. That is going to be a massive boon for us. Hello, then. More yes. evidence of the underbelly. Nope. Thank you. Nope. And go for it. Oh, through the stomach. What a shot. Actually, no. Nope. Oh, I had already tried to uh, defend poorly, I might add. Nope. There we go. Nope. There we are. Go for it. Ah, let me take you down. There we go. Hit twice. Not the best. Work, honestly. Oh, you're still up. Really? Okay. Nope. There we go. Now, Lord's Diadem will be a massive boom. This early on, it's going to have a lot of opportunities to make things easy for me. Yeah, you're saying this dispatch. You pick up the equipment that drew you to this alley. You lack prominence to use this weapon. It's Gain fine. More fame. Very well. The next one will get me that. You pause to inspect the bodies of the vanquished. Oh, only a ten as well. It shouldn't be too hard to hit. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Well, if not their master, then at least their friend. You cover some valuables from your fallen opponents. Wow, that's quite valuable, actually. While trudging through the snow, you hear the shout and the sound of swords being drawn. It's going to be a bit of a rough one. It's only a matter of time before the sounds of combat attract another patrol. Okay, we'll do our best. Alright then, we need you to take one down straight away if you can, please. Go ahead. Ideally, one of... Nope. Oh, damn. Couldn't quite manage to uh Go go for it! Damn it! Go for it! There we go. Try and take you down. Ooh, that was bad. I just basically gave that to you. Oh, and that one actually. Oh, not this time. Scallywag. There we are. Oh. I wanna take you down if I can. I've got a shield again. Nope. Oh, okay. Go and attack. Ouch. What on earth? Just, what was that scream? That caught me off guard there. Nope. Come on, break your shield. There you go. Nope. Out. Oh, Trap. Get up. No time. There we go. Nope. Break it. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do this in time, I don't think. We can certainly try, but I very much doubt we will. Oh. Trap. There we go. Nope. Damn it. Did you manage to get him? No. We need we need a better weapon for those ones. That was way too slow. Took a lot of damage too, actually. Now the power is yours to Thank you very much. I shall accept. The arrival of enemy enforcements makes your heart sink. You gain to fame. The Empire draws two days closer to the Hermit, however. We eliminate the last of the soldiers, but have little time to cover my tracks before I hurry away. It's a shame, certainly. Okay, let's press on. Oh no! Find a tree etched with strange markings. Is this a sign pointing towards the hermit? Yeah, unfortunately, it probably is. The Empire dropped four days closer. They're now 31 days. Perilous chance. Further into the forest, you hear a smattering of voices carried on the wind from somewhere to the east. You motion Estrella to stay behind before cautiously approaching the voices. You spy a small empire party taking a break from their zealous manhunt. Obscured by fog and brambles, you consider your options. We will stay hidden. 
Okay. The pendulum is ever changing, and the challenges it presents change too. Indeed, they do. Now let me just make sure that I am actually equipped. Yes, I am equipped with the Lord's Titan. Uh, slow swing. Yes, it is slow swing. Reduces the speed of the precision guns. Well, I didn't notice the speed being slow, but clearly it must have been. You overhear the soldiers discussing a nearby landmark. Oh, General Saw. Okay. To your dismay, a soldier balancing an overflowing bowl of stew sits down in front of your hiding place. Buzzing with adrenaline, you consider your options. Uh, continue to stay hidden. Okay, not actually too bad of a one. Oh, gotcha. Breathe. You have done well. <sighs> Thank you. Soldier whistles and sits down. It's a good thing the captain thought to give us these shields. We'd be wandering into blizzards and that blasted him, otherwise. You spy a shining shield resting against a boulder, just in reach of your hiding place. Is this the enchanted shield the soldiers mentioned? Unfortunately, another soldier approaches and you... The pair begin an animated conversation about their callous day plans. Steal the shield if you can. Okay, now this one will be difficult. We have the best chance when it's swinging that way. For now, anyway. Oh, we did it well. I can't quite believe I managed it there, honestly. That was hard. With a shaking hand, you reach out and drag the shield away before anyone notices. Ward of the Innocent. There we are, shield reflect, a map reveal. Reveal two random encounter cards on the start of each new map. Very useful for us. Suddenly, a gruff voice gives a command to move out. You breathe a sigh of relief when the last soldiers trudge away from your hiding place. Whew. That worked out much better than we had any right to hope it would. Now, the best path for us so that we don't have to backtrack over things is to go right up, left, up, right, up, left, left, and then through the path that we've got. Suddenly, a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. Weapons bristle from the trees around you. Their wielders, faces obscured by the undergrowth. Uh, we're not going to give them all the gold. Attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten me. Give us all your gold and die. Do you not know who I am and how many of you thieves I've slain? Now, to do it without losing any health will be the tricky part. Right. Cowards! We'll I know. Indeed. Cowardly cowards. Worst kind of cowards, really. There we go. Nope. Oh, damn. Such a failure. Uh, I completely told you to uh, take one of them down and then didn't do anything about it, didn't I? Nope. And she take you out. It was my own fault. I probably took that damage because I didn't deal with the person who was attacked. Like, like a fool. The fool that I am. With the cowards subdued, the thugs plead for their lives. Please, for pity's sake, we only want to feed our families. What else would you have us do? Uh, give them ten gold and let them go feed. Demand to give you their spoils. Yes. No one has the right to steal from citizens of the Empire. Estrella reprimands as she confiscates their belongings. She pulls a few wrapped dried rations from her own pack. Here, for your families. Find more respectable work in the future. Again, too faint. And one equipment from two. Marvellous. So the Archer's Bane would be really useful for us. The Helmet would be good in the long run, but uh, Archer's Bane it has to be, I'm afraid. Okay, go ahead and equip it. Absolutely. And 25 life as well. Marvellous. Hello, Do what you can to find more food. I will. A small blue imp materializes on the path ahead of you. It grins, revealing rows of needle-like teeth. I am Sharptooth. The creature rushes at you, arms outstretched. You back away from its enthusiastic embrace. Undeterred, Sharptooth merely grins. I will move forest around? Um, yes, please. Thank you very much, Sharptooth. But now everything is a mess. The forest spasms and the trees on the horizon shift back and forth, as if moved by an invisible hand. The empire falls ten days behind. Seemingly content, Sharptooth simply fades from view, waving cheerfully all the while. Bye, Sharptooth. 
Thank you for the help. Well, we'll go this way. Winter Trail. There is a gentle stillness in the air as you trek through the snow. We are going to need to camp very soon. Oh, maybe we won't. You follow the sound of screams and clashing metal to find the co uh, company of Empire soldiers tearing down tents and executing cowering mages. Okay. Well, we've got a good weapon for this. Do we want to press on? I think we probably do, honestly. Because there's no chance of them ca catching up the, with the four days ahead. I mean, there's lots of other things that we could do here, but I think this is probably better for us. Go ahead. Now, let's find out who it is that you're going to attack. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. Let's take out your shield and then just take you down. Nope. And follow through. Marvelous. The amount of damage this weapon does is glorious in every measurable way. Let's finish you off, shall we? Thank you. And start taking you guys out. Oh, crap. Damn and blast. You uh, took me instead. Not a big fan of that, honestly. There we are. Uh, I really would like to finish you off if I could. Let's uh, follow through. There we go. Wasn't a terrible fight. Hopefully we can get some food here though. Desperately need it. Game for fame, the mages are grateful for your intervention. The tent village is well hidden in the sweeping snow and fog. You can spend time here in exchange for resources. We can spend two days for one food game card. Uh, yes, let's get a food game card. Spend a few days tending to a mage with the winter shivers. The healer instructs you to tap dust from a blue chalky rock over him every time he wakes. The empire draws two days closer to the hermit. The mages gift you with the soft blocks of pounded thalon wort mixed with syrup. The packages smell faintly of cinnamon. Free food, not bad. Uh, we're going to do it again for another food game card. You spend a few days helping harvest snowberries and other poisonous looking plants from the forest. Your hands grow numb from the cold. The mages gift you with soft blocks of more pon uh, pounded fallen wood mixed with syrup. The package still smells faintly of cinnamon. There we are. That's enough for me, I think. We'll continue our journey here with the Empire at 32 days away. The mages point you vaguely in the home's direction. Even they are not certain of this whereabouts. Across the Silver River, through the Twin Oaks. And they have to cross a silver wind, river and go through the Twin Oaks. Which trail? Blizzard up ahead. Okay. Not a terrible one, that, actually. Well, let's head to the Blizzard. Ooh. Fork in the road. Uh, perilous Chance and General Store. Alright. Not terrible. Uh, okay. Well, we know what's east and west, so let's continue on. With a little warning, a snowstorm sweeps in from the north. The snow whips against you like shards of glass and obscures your vision. You struggle to find cover. The Empire falls four days behind. Okay, where are you going to go? Think number one? No, it's number two after all. Ooh, 15 life is pretty nasty, actually. You go to a general store with only 20 gold. See, the problem is if we go south and then... Um, if we go down, then left, then up, we've got to go back over some tiles that we've covered before. I think it is a better idea to just go there straight away. Uh, we could possibly sell some equipment. Uh, we no longer need the soldier's sword, for example. So we'll be rid of you. We'll also be rid of the battered helm. There we go. And then let's have a look at what you've got. What equipment do you have? Uh, ooh, Empire's Burden. The Ring of Food. Empire's Burden would take all of our money, but the Ring of Food will allow us to discard any non-food gain card and receive two plus two food. Gold, for example. Um, I'm going to take the Ring of Food. We'll react to the fact that we are actually very low on food right now. And we'll take this as well. There we go. Right, that's it for us. Thank you very much. And onwards. Ah, drat. I had a funny feeling this would be it. You find a tree etched with strange markings. It is a sign. It's pointed towards the hermit. Ah, okay. While well, the Empire are getting closer. Winter Trail. Hmm. Don't care for it. Tart pies and exotic 
lies. I don't have enough food money. You chance upon a wooden cart overflown with pears, pies, and many items otherwise. Wonderful smell wafts from the cart. The old farmer hawks his way to pass it by. Tarts, pies, and exotic lies. Uh, exotic lies? Chester nods glumly as you approach. What would you like to buy on this terribly dreary morning? Um... Exotic lies, maybe? He passes you a bag of luminous blue apples. Have you ever felt the feeling of your heart being torn from your chest? I have. He stares so forlornly at you that you are forced to comfort him before the transaction can proceed. Chester stares in a kind of wistful gloom at the exotic fruits for a while, before you find it sight on a price. But there's no way I can afford it. Whatever the price. Uh, decline the purchase. Chester seems strangely affronted at this. He takes the fruit from your hands and coldly asks you to leave. Well, that was going to happen. Ah, oh, no. They draw four days closer once again. They're now down to 21 days. Hidden mages. Oh, thank goodness. In a small clearing, you stumble across another group of exiled mages. After some insistence, they lower their guard. The tent village is well hidden in the sweeping snow and fog. Um, ask about the hermit. Distracted mage raises his hands towards the forest without looking up from his readings. Yes, yes, the hermit is that way. He doesn't often take visitors. I've never seen him anywhere. Um, I could do with some more food, but can I risk the time? We will. One more food game card. We spent a few days tending to a mage with winter shivers again. Damn, these mages keep getting the winter shivers. And they gave me another another package that smells faintly of cinnamon, inside which I'm sure there's pounded fallon water mixed syrup. Five food, though. That was a really good one. Okay. Onwards we go. The mages point you vaguely in the hermit's direction. Even they are not certain of his whereabouts. Stay fast to the path of bluebells. If you're at the Great Lake, you've gone too far. Mighty oh. Well, we're further than we've been before, and this is a huge map. Dark alleys and a perilous chance. Okay. Well, let's have a look around. The watchtower, oh, thank goodness. On the edge of the Empire, far from the capital, sits a lonely watchtower. You approach with caution, knowing that few travellers are allowed near. Halt! calls a soldier as you approach the tower. None may cross the border from the northern lands to the Empire. Uh, we can offer them gold. Uh, they need one more gold than I've got. The soldiers are desperate. For only a few coins, they will invite you to climb the tower and survey the countryside before crossing the border. Decline. Choose to keep your supplies to yourself. Try to sneak past the tower. I really wanted to climb the tower, though. We return hours later. At night approaches. As you scramble through the undergrowth, you hope their scouts don't spot you. I really needed to climb that tower. Desperately so, in fact. A win here sets the tone for your challenge. Oh, no, I could scale it. I thought I was just going to move around. Okay, I scale the tower without incident. We look east and west. Okay, what do we find? The Hermit! Mage hunting, torches. Oh, got a couple of days. I could go the Winter Trail, Perilous Chance. Ah, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cost me nine days, but the Empire would be driven back four days by hitting the blizzard. Hmm. I'd like to know what Toshes are, but I'd also like not to waste this opportunity that we've been given. Also, I don't have that much food. Uh, okay, mage hunting to the north as well. Continue on my journey. Very well, let's continue. We're going to go straight for the herd, I think. While trudging through the snow, you hear a shout and the sound of swords being drawn. If I hadn't already lost this challenge twice, I might be more willing to explore, but... Faith has given us a, 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 a blessing here in telling us exactly where the hermit is and is very close, so... And it's only a matter of time before the sounds of combat attract another patrol. Very well, then. Let us be done with them. Now, in here, we might actually have an opportunity to reflect some uh, shots a little bit. Okay. Estrella, go ahead. Ideally take out... Shot. Nope. Okay, well, goodbye to you. Straight through the throat. Nope. Damn it. Nope. I want to take out the one that I've stunned. Damn you. Damn it. I couldn't deflect that because it was coming at me too fast. Nope. Damn. 
Ugh. Missing many opportunities here. Oh, Skyway. I kind of want to allow the uh, archers to do their thing. Ouch. Because I actually want to uh, receive the opportunity to uh, defend from them. Oh, not that I'm very good with it, though. At the moment, I'm just wasting my life right now. Let's, see. Uh, let's try and take... Go ahead. Oh. Well, I mean, that works, but... Oh, crap. I basically just allowed you to shoot me there, didn't I? Okay, then. Oh. No. I forgot I was on a timer. No. Drat. I completely forgot I was on a timer. I could easily have done that as well. I was just waiting. <laughs> That's the worst thing. Oh, well, I get two fame. And they draw two days close to the hermit. What a fool I was. Uh, with a little warning, the snowstorm sweeps in from the north. The snow whips against you like shards of glass and obscures your vision. Very well. The empire falls four days behind. Let's hope that we manage to jump into the cave. Uh, I think it's one. Yes, it is. Oh, thankfully, I, I'm given given a bit of a bit of a bonus there. I feel from the fact that I did so poorly just now. Tiny raisin of a man carrying a heavy sack emerges from the tree, nods and settles by your fire. It's awful cold in the hermit's woods. I wish I wanted to warm my hands a while. Very well. Let's go ahead and cook some food. And again. There we are. Uh, perhaps I can trade. Uh, what equipment do you sell? No. Can I purchase any food for three gold? No. Well, can I sell anything for a bit of gold? Uh, sell the food ring, actually. Hmm. No. No, we're good. I wouldn't have had to have done that at all if I'd actually won that fight, because I would have gotten the equipment I fairly soon. Okay, thank you very much. Let's move on. You have found the Hermit, although this entire meeting was ordained. You would not be here if you had not once been there. Indeed. A sip of tea before we uh, settle down to speak with the Hermit. Here where the fog hangs heavy as you spy a lone tent surrounded by a thick blanket of snow. I'll approach the tent. You enter the tent. On the floor, a small copper bowl burns with a warming blue flame. The tent is otherwise unadorned and unfurnished. An old man sits cross-legged in the middle of the space. The hermit. He is small. Very small. Colourful cloth and thick swaths of moss have been draped over his shoulders, swamping the hermit's delicate frame. He is pale and sickly, his skin stretched tight over his gaunt face. His eyes are closed, and he doesn't appear to be breathing. Estrella looks unnerved. She grips the handle of her pistol cautiously. He's not dead. You turn to see a young woman, dressed in the scholar's robes, standing at the entrance to the tent. Not yet, anyway. He uses all of his energy to preserve the forest. It's killing him. The hermit does not move, yet his voice rings out around you. All of these cards have already been played. I have a role yet to fulfill. I do not die today. The woman looks sadly at him. The town and the Empire are coming. The woman nods. It was only a matter of time before they found us. The hermit sits deathly still, surrounded by his winter fo forest. Um, oh, that's unfortunate. I couldn't ask the other things. Um, I could get an equipment card, or I could spend ten days for a major ally card. Sure, actually, we'll do that. Spend the days helping the woman fold paper beacons and seal them with blood to call forth the forest mage. The empire draws ten days closer to the hermit. Uh, we'll have to wait until the empire arrives. You set up in front of the hermit's tent and wait. Oh, we've got to click each time. Very well. General of Steel. General Willem arrives with his mage hunters on the morning of the 4th of 3rd summer. I'm interested in how General Willem will respond to Fior being here. He sees you and smiles without a hint of surprise. Ah, it's the meddling civilian. You steal your nerves and draw your weapon. Uh, no, we're going to be going with what we've got to this one. Oh, he didn't say anything about, about Fior. Very well. Now... We're not at full health, but it seems that the days that we waited didn't cost us food, or maybe we spent the time gathering food while we were there. Oh my lord! How British! General Willem! 
The general has seen black and forbidden things. The mage hunters who accompany him have even now begun to suspect him of heresy. Generals call forth a hail of arrows when they sound their horns. Use evade to make yourself scarce. I don't understand why we're. Ow, crap. Uh, let me take you out if I can. Alright, there we are. Let's wipe out the, uh. the. musketeers, first and foremost. Oh, damn. Wrong button. Hello, General Willem. Oh, oh, oh. Crap. You've got unblockable attacks. Not a big fan of those. And finish one. Ah, uh, we should have this one. Stop attacking my mages. Ah, uh, Drax! Can you actually knock him down? Because if you can, that would be amazing. I'll be honest with you. Can you do it? No? Okay, fine. Then I'll just attack him with this blade, which is literally designed to kill people like him. Or, you know, fail to... Oh, really? He was on his knee. He was he was pleading for mercy. Uh, maybe a man like him doesn't deserve it. But still, stabbing him in the back like that. He was a general, for goodness sake. We should have at least given him the, the opportunity to face his death coming. His platoon die, uh, dead at his feet and his plumed helmet splattered with blood. The wounded general grips his sword in defiance. No, I'm going to give him a, a warrior's death. The falling snow melts on your eyelashes and obscures your vision as you bring an end to General Willem's life. Blood pays for blood. You turn to see the hermit standing in the door of his tent. Our roles here are predetermined, and now I must leave. He stares deep into your eyes. We have more business, you and I. But that comes later. Go forth and meet the fates. There we go, we won! Marv success and the secrets of the Hermit are unfolded to you. Also a gigantic gulp of tea in celebration. Uh, the Mage's Workshop, Helpful Priest, Holy Relic, and the Healer. Fantastic. Helpful Priest was a good card from the first game. Imperial Armor, uh, for protecting the Hermit from the Empire's Purge, uh, Will of the Emperor, Scorched Blade, and the Golden Shield. That had a, like a lion's face on it, I believe. For braving the winter forest, your supplies have been added to. Fate's path. Well, there we go. We finally defeated the hermit. Oh, my lord. It took us so long. So long. My lord. Okay, well, in the next episode, we may be checking out one of the new cards, or we might go and revisit the Hierophant. Uh, I think one of the new cards before we go back to the Hierophant. But that's going to be it for me. I do hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about my decision to uh, give General Willem a, a glorious death in battle, or, or at least, you know, defiantly standing there with his blade, or... Uh, should should we have spared him somehow? Or may I mind you that being said, I'm not sure if the major one would have decided to let him let him live or not die. No, I think I think personally it was better that we make a choice. Whether good or ill, passing the decision on to someone else. I think we, we need to have the courage of our convictions there. But still I'm interested to know what you would have done. But that's gonna be it from me. So until next time and as always, do take care everyone.